Hi guys, welcome back to SWS Boxing, and I'm delighted to get back on the Welsh champion. He is now nine and one, and um, with two knockouts, and he's back out on. Is it the fifth of November? Fifth of November, yeah. Back off, yeah. Bonfire night, I think. Bonfire night, yeah. Fireworks. Yes, mate, indeed. So is that a six rounder for your comeback fight? Yeah, so um, there's been a few uh, few opponents being been named, but um, yeah, so it looks like a six rounder. Um, yeah, just get back back on it now and um, just just prove people wrong, really. So obviously, my last my last performance is a little bit disappointing. Obviously, going in with um, with with, a, um, with an injury, but no excuses. And move on, and uh, you know that's just how it is. Yeah, with um. So what opponent are you fighting again? Did you say? Um, I think I think um they mentioned a be- um a Belgian op- opponent. I think he boxed that uh Callum French. I think um I think he's like a, a super featherweight. He is this Belgian guy. Um, obviously more wins, uh, more losses than wins, but um, yeah, yeah um, I think he's a, a super. I think he's super featherweight, so it's not it's not too bad. I've boxed, like I said, I've boxed people are like lightweight. I've boxed people are super featherweight, so. After this, after this fight, you're you're gonna be back in that title picture where you wanna be. Yeah, that's it. That's it. You know. So um, it'll be looking at uh, early next year for some sort of uh, big title. You know. So yeah. How hard was Nathaniel Collins? Because I watched it, and from the beginning, I, I it really wasn't your night. Yeah, like um, you know, obviously I watched it back a few times. Like I said, it's just frustrating, really. Um, I picked up a um a wrist injury, which was a uh, ligament damage. Um, I've been seeing uh, my hand specialist now for the last few months since the fight, and um, I had two two cortisone injections, really, which I shouldn't have really had. But um, I just wanted the fight, really. It was obviously um a big uh, opportunity for me, a big domestic title, and um, I went in really um half fit, really, but um. Watching it, watching it back, it was frustrating. A lot of close rounds. Um, but other than that, he, he didn't really do much himself. Really, he didn't really want to engage much. But um, it is what it is. You know, we move on. And um, I know that I'm, I'm levels. I'm, I'm, you know, I didn't show my levels, but I know that I'm, I, I can win the massive titles. You know, and um, yeah. you know, I'm proving people wrong. You know, so. Yeah. So, how many rounds would you give yourself out of that twelve rounder? Um, well, obviously, uh, the judges were, were a little bit harsh. Obviously, um, I'd say like the first like uh, round till four, it was, it was they were close. Middle rounds, you could uh, give them the final, but then I'd say from about 10, 11, and 12, well, what was it, a knockdown? Well, uh, according to the knockdown, that was it, I think. The knockdown won it, eight or nine, won it. Um, it was obviously a slip, it wasn't a knockdown at all. I was fine, I'd, I'd but you weren't hurt at all. I want to know until no, but obviously everything was against me that night. Um, but um, like I said, it was um, it was a slip. But like I said, from about ten, eleven, and twelve before I won the rounds, um, he's holding me a lot towards the um the last few rounds. But you know, it's no point sp- uh, crying over spilt milk, as they say. And um, you know, it's like I said, I know I know where I went wrong, and um, obviously I went into that fight fifty percent really. But um, it was the opportunity, really, and I and I wanted to fight, you know, so. Um, yeah. No one to blame but myself. Um, what did Nathaniel say in his um pre-fight interview? Because I I turned it off because I was gutted for you, mate. Yeah. So um, he had an interview obviously outside of the ring. Um, which he was just like um, I don't know. I, he didn't really say much. And then he said um, yeah, no, nah, he said a few things. And then he, he had an interview then and um with IFL then in the uh, changing rooms and he was saying obviously um. I uh, didn't really want to engage too much. Um, that my lead, my lead hand was uh, quite strong. Obviously, uh, my, it was my back end, my left hand. Obviously, I damaged before the fight. It was like about about ten days before my last spar, I damaged it. But um, wait, so when like I, I, I when I interviewed you before the fight, did you have an injury? Um, yeah, I had. Um, I picked it up about about three four weeks, so I had a cortisone injection. Uh, one of them cortisone injections, which is like uh, it's like a strong steroid, so so basically it just numbs the pain for for X amount of weeks, and then I had another one then about four or five days before the fight, which didn't do anything for it really. 
it was obviously my ligaments were just just weren't you know <laughs> but um I don't know it's just did you see that Nathaniel Collins was meant to fight Nick Bull for the British? That's right. Yeah, yeah. And, um, July sixteenth of July. That was supposed to be one. It so um, I know it's a little bit close from uh from May to July, but to be honest, that's gone quiet. To be honest, really. But like I said, if he I got injured thought, though. Uh, that's right. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, I did hear about that, but. Uh, I haven't heard anything since since that. But like I say, if I would have beaten Collins for that fight, I would have I would have loved to fought uh, Nick Ball for the British title. You know. Wait. But, so if you won the Commonwealth title, would you have fought yeah. Nick Ball? Yeah, I would. I would have probably fought Nick Ball if I was injury free. Yeah. So you know, it's just you know that what it's whatever fight you have given to me. Like I said, I've never turned down a fight. You know, but it was and, it was going to be on BT as well. So you would have got your name out of there. But you know. I'm sure I'm sure exactly. the opportunity will come, mate. And if you keep working hard, I'm sure um the British short Commonwealth will come back around. So what are you gonna oh, do? Man, are you gonna sure. vacate your Welsh title? Or um I don't think there's enough people really in Wales to, to you know, to defend it or anything like that. And I don't really wanna be um not putting the Welsh title down, but it's an it's an area title, so you don't really want to be um hanging around area level, really. If you if you were uh, want bigger, if you got bigger dreams and bigger aspirations, you know. So, um, like I said, that's when when I won the last title and I had that Commonwealth title shot, I took it straight away, you know. Whoever it would have been against, you know. So yeah, um, that's fair, and being man. in Glasgow as well, you know. Then obviously a lot of people think um I'm a little bit um I'm a bit baby because of obviously my dad being a former world champion. But to be honest, I've had to um you know, uh, come up like anybody else. I got I like to sell tickets like everybody else. So, you know, it's what it is. Yeah. Why did you go into that fight like not a hundred percent? Yeah, that's that's a bit of you know a lot of questions. Obviously, a lot of people said you know about it since since the fight when I've obviously explained to them. But obviously, people don't really want to know um one excuses really. They they sort of regard it as excuses when you explain situations but um but like I said um I damaged my my let um my wrist about four weeks before so I had a cortisone injection so I had about three weeks of sparring so basically that cortisone injection it felt it felt all right the first one and then um on the night were you, were you nervous because you know your hand was hurting were you I don't know. Yeah, because um like I said the preparation the preparation wasn't the best I only had like they only give me um basically five weeks notice for the fight really they changed the date a few times and then um, they basically kept me waiting really for 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 the uh for the new date so basically i thought mm, i don't know if this fight's gonna uh, come off um it was a little bit um and an iron but um but yeah i was i wasn't myself i was um i wasn't relaxed when i was in there i was too tight i was too tense but like i said um next time i get i get a big tar shot i'll be going in um Hundred percent, you know, and you'd be you'd be seeing a different uh, performance from me, you know. So, yeah. Did you get your own changing room? Because I think you were the second last fight. Yeah, I had my own changing room, and uh, yeah, it was um, it was nice, man. It was uh, obviously in the hydro. I had um, it was a co-main event, so yeah, I had my own changing room. It was uh, it was uh, you know. Was it, it you your biggest it changing it, room that you've had? Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, because usually, um, for my other fights, I'll have to like sort of share in like a, a big, a big sort of open room sort of thing. But um, yeah, I'd say yeah, that was my biggest. Like I said, my biggest fight was in the biggest um, like arena I've boxed in as well. And um, yeah, you know they they um they treated us good when we was up there, you know, in Glasgow, place in a nice hotel for a few days before it and all that. And uh, yeah, it's just a shame really that that you know that I went into it like that and um, but. I know it was on any other day I would have been Collins really because you watched the fight and it was a bit of a chess match really. It wasn't really much in it. Um, even though I was fifty. Because if if you were a hundred percent, mate, that would have been a different story. Oh yeah, hundred percent, and you 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 could see that on the night though as well. You could Collins see that one that one. wasn't even his best performance himself. No, 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 a lot, and obviously even though he got you know a, a bit of credit from it, I don't think he got credit really from. The actual performance, to be honest, because he got a credit, he got more credit because 
you didn't look the best on the night. That's right, yeah. Yeah, he, to be honest, he really he didn't really do much himself, though, to be honest, because it was just, like I said, he was keeping his distance a lot, like the, the IFL interview when he was in the changing rooms after he basically just explained why, you know, I wanted to keep my distance with him. Um, he had a, a good lead hook. I was a few times I sort of uh, caught him with it. I didn't catch him clean with my lead hook, but it's frustrating me. It's a frustrating fight, really, and uh, my fault really going in, going in like that, to be honest. And, yeah. yeah. Um, um, uh, for, <coughs> for this upcoming fight on in November, you've got a long yeah. camp, and how's the ticket selling going? Is it going okay? Yeah, so um, I literally um, funny that about that. Yeah, I literally just got the tickets today. So um, yeah, so I had a few people inquiring about tickets and stuff. So um, hopefully yeah, I can um, I can sell a few a good amount of tickets for this. I got it. it's about six seven weeks now. So whereabouts is it, mate? Gonna... Cardiff, is it? Yeah, in Cardiff. Yeah, in Cardiff. Cat yeah, Barrett so, show. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah, Black uh, Black Crash promotion. So um, he puts yeah. good shows on in Wales. There's a few other yeah. on there as well. That's right. Yeah, he did. He did one in August, didn't he? So um. Will you ever fight in England, mate? Um, yeah, you know, obviously I boxed in England for, in my six, my six profile I did, that was in your call, that was. Who was that against it. again, can you remind me? So, Sean Davis. Oh, yes. He's a former, yeah, former, former English champion, boxed for the British title, he, um, I think he won a WBC silver also, didn't he, Sean Davis, so. Yeah, and he won his um, area boxed. title, so we, he was, he's a good fighter. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, he's a good fighter, you know, but, um. He's retired you know, I think, now, I heard, though. I think I think he has, haven't he, now? Yeah, I think he has, yeah, from uh, Birmingham, yeah. isn't he? Uh, yeah. But, um, yeah. you know, it's just my last performance, you know, it's, it's not really a reflection of what, of who, what sort of fighting I am, but it's just people people take these risks and everything, really, and it's, that's just how it is. So on the 6th, um, in your, I mean, fifth, yeah. In, yeah, on the 5th, in your 6th yeah. rounder, are you going to try and get the rounds back in under your tank? Or um, the, to be honest, still... I want to be making, I want to, yeah, I want to be making a statement, really, to be honest. Um, a lot of, it's been a lot of frustrations over these last few months. Um, so yeah, I'll be, uh, you know, I'll be go, you know, be going in as, as usual, uh, you know, but cautious, obviously, and, you know, work on my defense and everything. But yeah, I want to be, uh, coming out a little bit more uh, aggressive, to be honest, and, uh, showing mm-hmm. people that, you know, and maybe yeah. you'll get us another stoppage under your belt, mate. Well, well, that's it. Yeah, that's it. You know, and um, I thought I should have had a stoppage in my Welsh title fight against um, Angelo. Oh, you you nearly had him, mate. You nearly. Yeah. Oh, I mean, in that yeah, eighth round, yeah. you you had him hurt. Yeah, of course. Obviously, his eye as well. I don't know how they kept they kept that going, really. But um, um, but yeah, you know, it's um. You know we're back. We're we're back now. You know, and um, just want to get a win. And because uh, every time I go, I'm out on a bow. I obviously get people who go, "Ah, oh, what's your last fight? What's your last?" And I just like, ah, oh, don't, don't remind me. Like you know, this is once I get a win, I'll end of my belt again. I'll just be out of my system, and you know. So no, it's good that people recognise you, like on the street and stuff. That's good. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know, obviously, it's, um, they say uh, no news is, uh, you know, um. Or publicity is good publicity, as they say, in it. So either if it's good or bad, you know. But um, yeah, it's just uh, hopefully just be out of my system, man, you know, and uh, move move on. <laughs> yeah. Do you think you'll be the main event? Because for me, I think you're like the biggest name on. Yeah. So uh, depending on, I suppose, how many tickets I sell in it, you know, I usually um usually get like um the most ticket sellers to fight. Uh, towards the end, then really. So obviously, um, yeah. But, um, yeah, I should, I should um, hopefully sell a, a sell a good amount. And um, it's your hometown, yeah, isn't you know. it, Cardiff? Yeah, yeah, hometown as well. Yeah, so yeah, I should um, sell a good amount. Um, but, yeah, oh, so I had, a, great, I had quite a few come up. I had quite a few come up to Glasgow. I had about about, 40, about 30, 40 people come up to Glasgow. Well, that's but that's know, not, not that bad. Yeah, but it's it's decent, isn't it? You know, so yeah, there was quite had quite a few people up there. You know, which was which surprised me. So. But, um, Glad yeah. to hear that you got a little cheer when your name got announced. You got quite a few people. I know, yeah. 
I know, yeah, true, true. Especially up there as well. It's quite hostile, you know. So uh, it wasn't as hostile as I thought it would be, you know, because um, I thought he would have had a, a massive following, really, uh, Collins. But Do you respect you Collins? Like, yeah, yeah, I respect Collins. I had a little chat with him after the fight and all that. Like I said, I didn't want to... I didn't want to be like saying oh, about about my injuries and that because people don't really want to hear. hear Did that, you, you know? tell him about your injuries or just that? I like I said, I didn't bother to be honest. I just I just went oh, good fight. I said good fight. You had and I just said that and, that, and I was it really, you know. But you um, like your like your trainer and your manager knew that you uh, had the injury. No, only only my dad, my trainer. Only me and my dad um, knew about the injuries. Everybody else, like my S C coach. Did um, Lee Eaton know? Nah, I didn't even tell Lee Eaton as well. So, what, you know... He, what would If you told him, what do you think he would have done? Do you think he would have told you not to, like, fight? Yeah, I reckon so, yeah. I reckon he really just said, oh, pull it. It's no point fighting and all that. But, you know, it's... If it's, you did it's, pull it's out a bit, would you... Do you think you would regret that decision if you did pull out? Um... Yes and no, but I think they wouldn't have um, rescheduled the fight. They would have just got him probably like another African opponent for him to just um, to just fall over, stop. Um, cause usually a few of his opponents have been lighter. Obviously, people coming up in weight. That's why he's got a, a few more knockouts on his on his record. But um, yeah, they wouldn't have rescheduled the fight. They would have just got him a different uh, defense really, and I would have just been on the back burner really, waiting waiting for something again really. That's what it would have been like. So, so kind of that was good, good for you, but bad. It was, yeah, it was good and bad. You know, it's just a weird one, isn't it? It's just boxing is just a weird, uh, weird sport, really. So yeah, but you know, you can't do anything about it now, and you just keep marching forwards, mate, and keep working. But that's it. Are like you... I said, people, people, people see how how good I am now. You know, they look at that, they they go, oh, you know, he lost his tenth full fight. And um, he came on bit, bit, uh, bigger and better, you know. So, like I said, my next my next fight now, you see it. And then when I'm in uh, another big title shot, you see a, di- a totally different performance from me, you know. So, so do you think this would be your last fight this year, which would be fair enough? Yeah, so uh, uh, Lee, Lee mentioned, obviously. Oh, sorry. Wait, continue. Yeah, go on, go on, mate. Go on. Because... Um, Realistically, you want to be getting back into these 10, 12 round fights, don't you? Exactly, yeah, exactly. But, um, you don't want, yeah, like, more, you don't want six rounds no. anymore, four rounds. No, no, I don't. And to, and to be honest, um, with that Collins fight, they, it was supposed to be earlier, like earlier on in the year, but he had a warm up fight in February. So obviously, he boxed the same night as me, November the 26th, at a defense. And then he boxed again in February. So why didn't you have a warm up fight before the fight? Because because at the end of the day, I'm I i do not want to fight Jimmy man. Like Jimmy, I don't want to have six rounders. Like especially when you when you just box a ten rounder or a twelve rounder, you want to be fighting in big fights, don't you? So yeah, because if you're fighting journeyman, like when you're in fifty fifties, I think you'll get more ticket sales because they they're like yeah, it's a, a tough fight. Even yeah, exactly. That's yeah, what exactly. the fans and then. And that's what you and, that, want. and that's what and that, yeah, and that's what boxing is, isn't it? So so yeah, he had a he had a warmer fight February, which obviously um which I was waiting then for the date. It, they kept me waiting like well about two two months for the date before they actually announced announced the date and then the date was changed then. And then obviously it was May thirteenth. So and then by then I got I, I damaged my wrist then. So it was just um it was just bad luck really. Uh, on my end, really, a lot, a lot of it, and um, yeah. but like I said, I, I, I learn from it now, and like I said, um, you see it with a lot of fighters. Once they have like a slight injury or a slight niggle, it pulls out. Yeah. And um, and that's what that's what I'm probably I'm gonna have to do really in in the future, you know. Um, I've got a question: Is who do you think's gonna win with Connor Ben and Chris Eubank? Um, to be honest, I think obviously you'd have to go with Eubank Jr. when you obviously because of the size and everything. But with this rehydration clause, rehydration clause thing now, that could weaken Eubank. So obviously he's get he's getting down to a weight that he haven't boxed before. See, but Ben's going up one weight, mate. 
Yeah, so obviously, but yeah, but obviously Benny's obviously going to feel up stronger, isn't he? Obviously, because he's fighting at a higher weight. So, so like I said, this rehydration clothes thing they got, I don't know, I think it's like, what, five pounds or something? Or whatever it is, or something stupid that they can put on after the fight, um, which is which is stupid, really. But, because, um, to be honest, once you've weighed in and had food, like, if you're awake, you'd be surprised. Like, when I, when I went in... Um, with my fight, I was like ten pound, ten pound heavier. So I weighed in like nine stone the day before. Uh, day before, yeah, and when because I went in the court, after the weighing, you can just eat whatever you want. Well, well, I say yeah, whatever you want, eat whatever you want, drink whatever you want. But I don't think we they can do that, you know, with uh, you with the Eubank and uh, them fight. So don't be surprised if Eubank comes in a little bit drained and weak, and Connor ends up uh, <laughs> stopping him like <laughs> to me. Hopefully, it will be a good fight, though. Yeah, yeah well, I, th- I think it'll be a good fight, but I think there's a few things where they they try to do with when it comes to Ben and um, with the Eubank with the with the uh with the weight and everything. But we we'll see, you know, like I said, it's it's, it's boxing in it, so we just we we'll see, you know. So yeah, we will indeed, mate. And my last question yeah. for you is: Do you have to like? stop this guy on November the 5th to make a statement? Yeah, to be honest, um, just obviously just be, well, you know, I don't want to be putting too much pressure on myself, but yeah, I want, I want to stop his ado. I want to, um, I want to be, um, sending a message out and, um, but, yeah, yeah, you know, but like I said, just go in there and box and just, like I said, you know, I always got to get, um, a core head on my shoulders. So, you know, just, just go in there and just do what I need to do, you know? Yes, indeed, mate. If the stoppage doesn't come, don't worry. The main thing is that you win the fight. That's the main thing. That's, that's right, mate, definitely. That's that's the main thing, you know, get get the uh, rounds in and win the fight, you know. But, um, yeah, I'll be, be looking for the bad intentions, you know, from 5th fifth of, fifth of November, you know. So, a lot of frustrations these last few months and, uh, and yeah. Yes. Has the hand fully recovered? Yeah, it's it's getting it's getting there now. So um, like I said, uh, I've been seeing a hand specialist. Um, uh, it was ligament, it was ligament damage. So obviously, ligament damage is um, you know, sometimes worse than a break, to be honest. Really, but um, but yeah, it's it's getting there now. So like I said, um, I had like I had about like uh, two four months of of um, of recovering from it. So from me, I I didn't really start punching until like. Um, probably end of July, August, really. So I had about two a good two months of resting, really. And um, yeah, it's a lot better. I've been doing a lot of um exercises with it, my wrist stretches and stuff. And uh, yeah, you know, it's 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 getting there now. You know, it's getting strong. You know, so yes. Um, and again, do you want to shout anyone out? Um, anyone who's helped you? Uh, yeah. So obviously, um. My trainer, which is my dad, obviously he's been doing this since obviously I started boxing. Um and just the team really, you know, my S C coach, uh, which is Jake Williams, you know, he's um good S C coach, he's been been with me from from the start, you know, and he's kept kept on going, you know, and um and yeah, just the team man, just shout out the team. He kept you know, and obviously my supporters now and, and also my sponsors as well, so uh, stuck with me, so obviously I had a defeat in my last fight, but yeah, they still stuck with me, you know. So yeah. Yeah, I back. I'll back, mate. I'll keep backing you, and you keep smashing it, yeah. Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, now nah, of course. Thanks, Sam. Thank you very much, mate. Bye, mate. Bye. Thank you, man.